My Journey by Matt Stone. When I first viewed John Matsuya's The Infinite Birdcage Collection at Artspace Wonthaggy, I found myself wondering how the collective of two- and three-dimensional art linked to its title. More specifically, I found myself musing about the paintings in particular, some with an apparent common theme and others not so. I had previously seen several of these paintings at John's studio separately and found them each individually descriptive. At a later stage of the exhibition, I returned to the gallery and found myself particularly drawn to one of the paintings, mysteriously titled Five, which I subconsciously claimed as my The Crow and the Trike painting. I stood close, noting the brush strokes and details of the wheel spokes and nest. I studied the perspective. I stepped further back and started to appreciate the painting as a whole. Was this about the birds that featured within? Or was it trying to tell me something of a far greater scale? With that thought in mind, I returned to the other paintings and realised, as with my crow, none of the birds were actually in the cages. They were free, yet many appeared less than comfortable to leave the safety and security of these cages. In one painting, painting 10, even in death, the comfort of the cage remained. I returned to my crow and the trike painting, number five in the exhibition, and reflected on how it might describe freedom and how it might symbolically represent an ability to choose to be free. To me, its dark and almost luminous clouds in the background represented a foreboding and an omnipresence of some threat of disaster. But to whom, I wondered? To me, the bicycle represented the current civilization across the world, which can be defined through seven characteristics. A developed culture, written language, advances in technology, stable food supply, government, social structure and religious systems. Do the clouds threaten civilization? I ask myself. Is there an element of freedom of choice that affects these characteristics? I realized the answer to my own question was yes. A developed culture is threatened by political choice on immigration. A written language is threatened by the choice of laziness. Development of technology is threatened by the choice of money and power of knowledge. A stable food supply is threatened by choosing rural development within food bowls. A sensible government is elected by choice through voting. Our social structure can be threatened by almost anything. COVID-19? and religious systems are threatened by the choice of political correctness. To me, the nest with its chicks represents the different cultures of the world and our fear of more specific threats around population density, ethnicity, education levels, health measures, economic status and religious affiliations. And finally, enter the crow, who represents the catalyst required for disaster, but more importantly, the freedom of choice.